So moving over to our stock transfers tab, this is a section that's only available if you have multiple locations, more than one on your Katana account. And since we've added an extra one, that's how we were able to unlock the stock transfer functionality uh, in our uh, Katana platform. So um, to see how to add one, you'll find the information under the quick add menu where you can then create a stock transfer document. And the stock transfer document is used to take inventory from one location and move it to another. So that includes a quantity of an item uh, and also the value of that item at its current rate. So what you do here is you can come up with a stock transfer number. Um, you can choose that automatically uh, with ST-1, which is our general nomenclature for auto generation of numbers. Um, or you can make a custom one, however it is that you need to do, you can do that. And you choose an origin location. So in our case, we would have the main location and then specify a destination location. And so if we wanted to take some of that wood that we brought back into inventory, we can create a stock adjust, or sorry, a stock transfer to send it from one place to another. Um, although this is a material and I probably don't need it in my fulfillment location, we'll go ahead and just uh, do it as an example. So I'll take the wood, select it from the list. I have currently 550 meters on site at my origin location, and I'm going to transfer 50 meters of it to my destination location. And 50 meters of wood at a value of $35 per meter means that I not only transferred 50 meters of that wood, but I've also transferred $1,750 of value. I believe I said euros by accident, but I meant US dollars. And, um, and so that 1,750 US dollars will now be in stock at my uh, new fulfillment location based on this stock transfer document. Again, it works exactly the same way as the stock adjustment. There's an additional info section. There is um, a uh, couple of print templates you can use. I've got one without the cost. I've got one with the cost. These are uh, standard print templates that come with this document type. And um, those can generate a PDF for you. You can also delete or duplicate just like you can with the stock adjustments. Stock transfers also work for um, batch trackable items. So you can choose an item and then choose from which batch it comes from to go to that new location when you have batch tracking enabled. When I exit out, you'll see that I've created the item list here. And when I've generated a, uh, a grid from the creation of this first document, you can see that all of the same tools are available as well. What was the dates where I did stock transfers? I can pick from a range. Once I've got all of them selected, uh, then you should be good to go. The only thing we presently don't have with respect to stock transfers is the export option, but that is go going to be available in the future uh, to work in much the same way that the stock adjustment export function does.